that was a de degree wheel that you just observed. It's that Model 72D Maytag Multimotor. And I do have some comments that may be of interest to anyone that has been following along with this build, repair, rebuild, fix up, not to be confused with restored. Timing a two cycle engine. It does not have to be Maytag. Any, any brand of a two cycle engine pretty much times the same in relationship to the heat range and the RPM, one of the most overlooked part of figuring out engine timing. Now, I'm going to do like three, only three videos on a Maytag Model 92, the one cylinder, the single. I'm going to do like three, Just this is just a heads up like three episodes only explaining how to time that 92. One of the mo it's so simple that I'm having trouble to explaining it. But just a starter, just a one-time deal to explain the video series is going to be about the 92 and I am going to tell you about the 72 in just a nutshell. This is the backing plate off of a Model 72 multimotor. The coils and the confusion arises in this backing plate when it has, this is a Model 72D only. The confusion arises is when there is an A stamped in the backing plate making it a 72A. Visually they're the same except the radius of this circle right here is larger It'll be thicker, it's visually different, and it requires a different armature. Just heads up. Uh, the, well, what, 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 what we're observing in this episode is that the timing on a 72 is fixed. You don't have a choice. In the back here, it's got this little notch. It's a cutout, it's identical on all of them. I have bought these engines in the past where that thing would be sawed half in two, the operator wanted to rotate it a little more to change the timing. I, most, some, uh, most of them just breaks one of them off and that way you can really rotate the timing then. But that's on there to a line, this backing plate, to the boss on the back of the engine. You cannot go wrong. Just put that in that little notch and, you, and, and snug it down and slide that in as far as it'll go. No gap between this and the housing. That's all you can say about this. Nothing more. They're identical. On this side, you will observe that the points, the point backing plate, is a fixed, this, this thing right here. Y'all hear that? That's a fixed pin molded in. When they made this, they put it in there. You can't move it. It's there to stay. Okay, that is timing only. That is the, that positions the points as to where the points will fire at a given degrees. That's explain, that's explanation section enough. If you have one of these, the first thing to do, if you own one of these that don't work, if you have one that's working, don't fool with it. But if you got one that don't work, take it apart immediately. Most of the time, most of the problem, will be dirt, dirty, oily mechanism. Don't wash the coil because it will uh, it uh, <laughs> dissolve. Don't wash that. The better wash everything else up and then study it enough to where you know it will work. Uh, the condenser, the capacitor, assume when you open up one of these engines, assume that that capacitor is bad. Like point twenty-two in that range, microfad condenser, like a point twenty-two microfad. Uh, it, it's that is a ballpark figure. The condenser works 
the output the output of the strength of the magnet combined with the resistance in the war produces a spark out here now if I may if I may this engine right here and this may be a problem that you're having this particular engine here and it's it's different the blueness of the spark and the size the intensity is it's sufficient to where that if you lay the spark plug on the engine turn the engine over the spark on this cylinder over here is weaker than this one on over here by grounding that plug wire take this out check this one observe do the opposite over there ground this put that over there put that up there and watch it just look at it for your own eyes now this is something that I cannot the difference in the spark I cannot I cannot I cannot to tell that to you to where you will understand it until you have done it on your own so just get her done now and that means that one side of this coil is weaker than the other side these are individually wound coils connected in the middle there with a little it's the world's smallest war if you remember but it's two coils sandwiched together and if one of them has more, if you if you took this apart and checked this coil, it would probably, well, it's weaker or stronger, more resistance. You have to get into some kind of radio stuff to know about that. And I do, and I'm not going to explain it now. It means that there's a different resistance in these two coils. And yes, it is possible to cut these coils apart. If you've got a bunch of them over there, you can take these apart check the resistance on this coil and find another one with the like resistance they work better the closer to the resistance the better they work you you can reassemble that it's it's not for the faint of mechanic I mean you gotta be pretty good to get that done it's well enough to where just leave it alone and order your coil there they are available this is a fixed position on the timing and if you noticed I got the logo on the hat there uh, timing points I, I should that I, I, the girl the duct tape girl will probably put RPM up there because it's quite important as to how RPM is how it, you set your timing as to what the engine is going to be used for if it's just going to sit there and idle the rest of its life under no power and you don't expect it to be under no power then you would time it for that situation if you wanted to run your engine at a lower or higher RPM then you have to make adjustments on this right here because there's a point where you change that RPM lower or higher enough to where this degree of retard is uh, or advance hey, go ahead and look it up let that be the lesson of the week look it up I may just go ahead and leave you with that and we'll get on to that 92 the next time.